Hey, Shadow Riders Army, you want to start your own podcast? Well, Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast. Anchor gives you everything you need in one place for free, which you can use right from your phone or computer. Creation tools allow you to record and edit your podcast so it sounds great. They'll distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard everywhere in places like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and many more. You can easily make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. So go on over and download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. That's A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M. Anchor. Check it out. Peace. Switching gears in the Maserati, driving insane as fly as can be. Giovanna rim size 23, shit, I'm as high as can be. Ladies call me handsome, way before I did the Shadow Riders anthem. Now I'm sitting in the Black Panther, more than they can handle. I play the ball hard in the car, cause it's coming out the front panel. What you know about that? But I ain't T.I.P., I'm R.I.C., K-5. I show you how to stay fly in the daytime. With shadow riders on my side, hopping up the G-Ride, I stay live. The boy wonders, not a talk of the town. Toasted up, never boast, yeah, I'm holding it down. Gunner for now, these tough Burger King niggas. Coming through steady, keeping the crown. While I'm in the fruit punch jag, popping up, riding around. Believe me, dog, this is real as it sounds, shit. Ignition. You are now listening to the Shadow Riders Ignitions radio show. All about the JDM life. Shadow Riders, baby. The Shadow Riders ethos. I will be so strong that nothing can disturb my peace of mind. I will never, never, never give up. And I will never, never, never accept defeat. I will think only of the best, work only for the best, and expect only the best. I will be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as I am about my own. I will give so much time to improving myself that I have no time to criticize others. I will be too large for worry, too noble for anger, too strong for fear, and too happy to permit the persistence of trouble. I will think well of myself and proclaim this back to the world not in loud words but in great deeds. I will always surround myself with people who are faithful, accountable, and teachable. I will bring discipline, momentum, focus, determination, will, and tenacity to every challenge. I will always have the courage to follow my dreams. I will always stay humble and down to earth. I will always be real, straight, and authentic with people. I will never forget where I came from and where my true power is. I will always represent myself and my crew with pride and style. I will be driven. Because I am part of Shadow Riders And together we are unstoppable 
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Shadow Riders Ignitions Radio Show. I am your host, Shadow, aka Shadow Riders Leader, Shadow Riders Alpha. We got a great show for you tonight. We're talking about Drive Club and other JDM inspired video games. It's a great show we got for you. We got a great show. I'm fired up. I'm fired up. Just ate some turkey. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We'll be right back after these important messages. SCW Performance, Dallas Fort Worth's best race shop. Located on 1620 Interstate 35, Frontage Road, Carrollton, Texas, 75006. Open Monday through Fridays, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. They offer performance installs, engine bills, repair estimates, and much more. For more information, call 405-201-7999. SCW Performance. Audio Depot. Arlington's premier spot for car audio installation. Located on 4312 Matlock Road, Arlington, Texas, 76018. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. For more information, call 817-466-2441. Audio Depot. Tell them Shadow Riders sent you. Game Over Video Games, the ultimate retro video game store. Buy, sell, and trade the classics such as Atari, Intellivision, Nintendo, Sega, PlayStation, Saturn, and more. Located at 4648 South Cooper Street, Suite 240, Arlington, Texas, 76017. Open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. And Sunday, 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. For more information, call 817-468-4263. Game Over Video Games. You are now listening to the Shadow Riders Ignitions Radio Show. All about the JDM life. Shadow Riders, baby. Welcome back, welcome back everybody, Shadow Riders and Shadow Riders Ets, Shadow Riders Ets, Shadow Riders and Shadow Riders Ets. <laughs> we got a great show for you. This is the Shadow Riders Ignitions Radio Show, if you didn't know. I'm your host Shadow, aka Shadow Riders Leader, aka Shadow Riders Alpha. Today we don't talk about drive club and other jdm inspired video games you know your boy is a real big video game fan i'm really into video games and uh, it was only a matter of time before i talked about uh something pertaining to video games and import car culture jdm culture make sure you guys follow us on facebook shadow riders of facebook Make sure you guys follow us on Twitter, Shadow Riders on Twitter. Make sure you guys follow us on Google Plus, Google Plus slash Shadow Riders. Make sure you follow us on all those social media platforms. A big shout out to my musical family, the homie Lameek and Groove Village, Jay Catalyst. Ivan James, M Squared, Dope DJ, ADK, Ace the Kid, aka ADK, and Band Nerds. Really great musicians and music artists, all I consider to be my music family. What up, y'all? Make sure uh, all my Shadow Riders out there, what up, what up, what up? Everybody out there, I need you guys to be doing your LS procedures. Liking and sharing these shows need you be need you to be just murdering that subscribe button, murdering that like button, and murdering that share button. I need y'all do all that. Yeah, so 
together we can make sure that these shows keep on coming so yeah let's get into it we're talking about Drive Club and other JDM inspired video games I'm gonna say Drive Club for last I, I really I was really waiting on that one I was really excited when they when they came out with the first trailer at uh, all your uh, your favorite video game conventions like E3 and CES and PAX and all that stuff but I'm talking about I'm, I'm talking about you know, uh, you know emphasis on Drive Club because it just came out I'll put a, a, a link in the description if you guys want to go check it out go purchase it on Amazon but yeah yeah it was it's a big deal but uh, there's been there's been games uh, throughout the years that are su- seriously inspired by JDM car culture in my opinion like one of the one of the first games that I remember like on PlayStation 2 that was really really geared towards uh, JDM car culture was um, uh, Need for Speed Underground 2 Underground 1 wasn't so wasn't so much about customization but I remember playing Need for Speed Underground 2 it was dope it was you get to pick you know the kind of car you want they had had civics they had skylines they had all the all the the famous iconic import cars that you could buy and it was really big to me this was the first game that i played on playstation 2 that was really really big into customization i mean you could customize the body the paint you could do um you know graphics on the side uh on the dash on the hood you could you could install you know wings different size wings you could customize how how much uh how wide your tires were you could customize the skirts um on your body kit the wheel wells you could customize everything and they had all these um decals that you could get for your car you could have you know decals from from Greddy like name name brand uh, you know companies that do JDM aftermarket parts and everything paint they had uh, like Greddy and and DC and Skunk 2 and uh, I mean the list is long like the actual dealers of all these parts and stuff you could have you could you could customize and build your own virtual JDM tuner car that was just perfect to, to your specifications you could you could you know install NOS turbo um, what else you could you could do uh, custom lighting I mean it were they really went into a lot of detail like everything that you could customize neon lights underneath the car I mean that was like going over the top I mean they thought about everything. And then on top of that, they had a soundtrack. They had like real music artists. Um, I think that company is called EA Sports, right? They started doing that. They had like uh, like the hip hop uh, Def Jam battle, and they had like the actual the actual songs from the music artists. It wasn't some generic video game background music it was like actual songs that's on the radio that you can actually go and buy on a um you know download or cd or whatever for your car so like you would hear it on the video game like you'd be playing you'd be customizing your car on need for speed underground 2 and then you hear like the soundtrack to somebody that you really like and it's like a, a actual band or actual music artist and you actually get to listen to it and then you're like man I like that song you and it kind of it kind of encouraged you to go buy it for real but uh, Need for Speed Underground 2 that's like one of my very first ones and then after that I think the Need for Speed franchise started catching on 
and then they came out with uh, Need for Speed Street, uh, Need for Speed Carbon, that was a good one. Carbon was one of the first video games where you could actually, you raced as a team, you had, it was like a, you had like your car and a wing, a wingman, like you both, both had the same kind of a car and you're racing against another team which is which is so much about um, JDM uh, car culture when it comes to the to the uh, the, <laughs> the illegal street racing the street racing and you know the iconic uh, JDMers who um, originated from Japan racing in the mountains of um, the Kanto uh, yeah the Kanto I think it is but yeah, they kind of borrowed from that. And you could tell in the game, like you'd be racing in teams, and like you could you could get in front of the guy and block him while your while your teammate came around. It was really cool. It was really cool, and I really think they were on to something. And then like uh, Need for Speed Underground, not not Need for Speed Underground, but Need for Speed uh, Streets. That one was like really deep into the nitty gritty of the the sport of um, the JDM culture where you actually go to events and drag in a real drag meet or a, a real drift battle or a real circuit race in the JDM style in the JDM culture of course you have muscle cars and other things that you could pick but you could tell that it was so much inspiration from the JDM culture that we have today in these video games it was a really big deal even so another game um, is another game franchise was Midnight Club I didn't really play that one a lot but it was it was all about customization and racing at night um which is a lot of the times when you see uh, illegal street racing or, or legit street racing, it's done at night. It's done at night. The drag strips when you go to the track, um, your local neighborhood tracks and stuff, it's at nighttime most of the time. And so they came out with this video game franchise called Midnight Club, and that was really popular for a while. Um, you got um, Forza. Forza is a really, really big name um, racing simulation game it's more about the exotic cars but it you got your fair share of JDM model cars like the Impreza of course you know the Skyline's gonna be, the, be in there Gran Turismo is also a really iconic JDM inspired video game franchise um, as a matter of fact, like I forget which Gran Turismo, I think it was five or six that they they debuted the the R35 GTR Skyline on the video game, and some of the some of the controls that you saw in the game helped them learn more about how to make the controls in the real car. That's deep. And there's no better car, in my opinion, in the JDM culture world as the, the Nissan Skyline GTR. Any year, any year, the R32, the R33, the R34. And right now, my personal favorite is a tie between the R34 and the R35, you can give me any any one of those. The R35 is dope, though. Everybody, everybody in the world gets, you know, gets their rocks off on the R35 because it's just so dope. But moving right along, the Drive Club. So. This is a new game that just came out this year. It just came out in the fall, uh, like a couple of weeks ago, uh, in uh, October of this year, 2014. And 
It had a lot of problems with this game. It's only out in, on PlayStation 4 right now. Hopefully, it'll be out for uh, Xbox One and Xbox 360 and, and the other platforms. But the cool thing that really got me excited about Drive Club is they really emphasize the car club experience in order to really unlock a lot of the, the features on the games you have to join a car club and, it, and it's real heavy on the online play so um, if you uh, if you got a system and you're not really an online player you know maybe it's not for you but I mean these days everybody everybody got a PS4 or Xbox 360 or uh, a game system that links up to the internet in some way or fashion so if you if you got a PlayStation 4 and you get Drive Club it's really really heavy on the interaction with other players it's got um, like a 12 car multiplayer up to 12 cars multiplaying online is really dope and you race as a team you have to join a car club and race other clubs as a team and earn rewards and medals and and victories as a team and the game is and another thing I really like about Drive Club is the fact that it's more of a simulator type of game it feels real you know what I mean it looks real so you kinda you really kinda get the full feeling of, of racing even though you're not in your own car but like when you're at home chilling on the big screen it's really beautiful the graphics are just gorgeous um, the detail that they put on uh, the sounds and the, the aesthetics of how the cars look on the inside and the outside is really dope I mean you can customize things just like you could back in um, un uh, Need for Speed Underground 2 um, it's just a dope game. It's, it's real dope. A lot of people, a lot of people were ragging on the game. Like a lot of um, magazines and uh, Game Informer magazines, they were ragging on the game and not giving it a high score. But from what I've seen, it looks real, real dope. And for somebody who is a JDM culture enthusiast, somebody who's a tuner, somebody who is into the import car culture, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. And the car club aspect of it just makes it fun. So all your homies that you roll with in real life, you can call them up and, and be like, yo, I'm going to get on drive club. You know, you know, meet me on the track virtually. I mean, it's dope. It's like... When you don't have enough money to like go to the track, <laughs> you can just get on your PlayStation 4 and, and and live it out on the game, which is fun, you know? So yeah, and that's going to do it for the show. And remember, uh, Drive Club is out now, so you can pick it up on Amazon. I'll make sure I put a link in the description. Make sure you guys check us out at ShadowRiders.com. That's where you can get all the hot gear, all the hot Shadow Riders gear. That's where you can stay up to date on when new shows drop. You can check out this show. You can check out all the hot news and gear from our mascot, our Shadow Riders mascot, Phantom, and his story. And all, all the stuff that he is doing, you can check him out at ShadowRiders.com. Uh, you can check out updates from me and all the Shadow Riders um, in our uh, Shadow Riders Car Club. There's so much stuff that you can find at ShadowRiders.com, so make sure you guys go check it out. And with that, that concludes the show today. Thank you guys for tuning in once again and until next time I'm Shadow your host aka Shadow Riders Leader Shadow Riders Alpha signing out